Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, and I'm coming back at you. You and me are gonna hop on an airplane, and we're gonna go to Argentina. Let's go. We can eat any of this stuff here free? Uh, our choice. Then I won't be needing these. I won't be needing these chicken wings. Anybody back here on the bottom some chicken wings? We're going to look at some Star Wars bootlegs. Now, a lot of people out there know about the, the Turkish Star Wars bootleg figures. That's the really wacky ones with, like, the Imperial Gunner standing in front of a calculator. But there's other bootlegs out there, and we're going to talk about the one from Argentina. Now, there's not many figures in this line here, but they're so cool that I had to talk about them. Believe it or not, on the collector's market, bootleg figures, at least vintage bootleg figures, are worth a lot of money. They're very rare and really hard to track down. So the find them rare, but find them unopened in a package, you know it's gonna be rare. So let's start with Darth Vader. Let's take a look. As you can see here, Darth Vader came in many different colors. And you'll notice something different about these Darth Vaders. Look at the hand. Some of them have the normal Darth Vader hand holding the lightsaber, like the Kenner release. But the other one uses hands taken from stormtroopers. It's kind of weird that they change the arms up on these. Isn't that a crazy Darth Vader bootleg? I mean, just go ahead and just paint the whole thing black. I mean, you're already ripping off the character. Who's gonna care if you paint it all black? Now, let's look at the Luke Skywalker figure. We have three different ones. Well, three different colors, and he's dressed like an astronaut. Yes, you heard me right. I actually said it. Luke Skywalker is dressed like an astronaut in these bootleg figures. Let's take a look at the Luke Skywalker Argentina bootleg. Here he is in his red outfit and in a white outfit and blue. I almost have to ask if you can call these Star Wars bootleg figures because he's in an astronaut outfit. Luke Skywalker wasn't an astronaut. Speaking of astronauts, there's another astronaut in this line. Who else dresses like an astronaut? Well, it's Luke Skywalker's BFF, Han Solo. He comes in the same colors, but let's take a look. Here he is in the red and the white and the blue. Again, looks a lot like the Luke Skywalker figure, just a different head to look more like Han Solo. Now I know what you're thinking, man, that's crazy. What else could they do? Do they do any bootleg ships? Well, kind of. An astronaut has to get around, right? Well, this is how the Han Solo figure got around. And here's the Argentina bootleg of Han Solo that came with a Jeep. Yeah, you heard me right, a Jeep. Well, I guess you can call it a Jeep. Maybe some kind of space car. Whatever it is, it's kind of weird. I'm in my mom's car. Broom, broom. Beep, beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Get out of the car! Now, if you have two heroes dressed like an astronaut, you have to have a bad guy dressed like an astronaut, right? And who do you have dressed like an astronaut if not Darth Vader? Well, probably the most popular bad guy in Star Wars besides Darth Vader, Bosk. A Bosk action figure in an astronaut outfit. Let's take a look. We only have pictures of two colored ones here, the white and the red. Although the other colors are probably out there. Now you have Han Solo cruising around the moon in his space car, but the bad guys, they need a ride too, so you could have got Bosk with a Jeep. Just like the Han Solo one, but let's take a look at it. As you can see here, unlike the Han Solo red, it's yellow. It's possible, like the figures, the Jeeps came in different colors. But this is all that's known so far. And that's it. There's only four figures known in this bootleg Argentina line. Is there more out there? It's possible that they just hadn't been discovered yet. Are you in Argentina? If so, Take a look under your bed mattress. You might have some bootleg Star Wars figures that the world doesn't even know about yet. Well, tell me in the comments below what you think about these bootleg figures. Do you like them? Do you like bootleg figures at all? I always find them kind of fun and charming, especially the old ones. Thank you for watching. And believe me, I will be back very soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.